This is Max. Max is uh, a couple years old, and as you can see, he still has his oh his package. Uh, Pedro didn't agree with cutting them off, and I can see why. And Max, since he's new to the neighborhood, and a toughian, and a ruffian, and a fighter, got in a couple of fights. And uh, let me see. Come on, hold still, honey buns. Hold still. Hold still. Let me see what it looks like. Come here. Oh, I don't think it's infected at the moment, but um, we keep washing them off and giving them the flu bath and whatnot. He's actually probably safer outside than he is inside. I'm probably safer inside than I am outside. Anyway, there's Max. He comes by uh, sometimes in the morning and the night, and he gets a little food and whatnot, and uh, some water and retreat. Poor little guy. And the place we live is so dirty. He gets worms and he gets. You know, I wash everything with bleach and. It's, He's almost safer outside than he is inside, except that he likes to fight for territory, yeah. But he's got a girlfriend. I've met his girlfriend, one of the local feral cats from the colony nearby. And um, we'll probably be seeing some kittens, Max-looking kittens, although we won't be here to see them. But, um, anyway, he's very thin. He's to, you know, he has the same, he's been exposed to the same crap that, that is on the back of my neck. It went in his ears, and, uh, you know, he's, he's never got it out. And, um, so I have to imagine that over time he's going to experience the same neurocognitive deficits as people do, you know. I imagine well, you can see him. Uh, this is the uh, this is the city, so there's always banging and booming. And, but I just I feel so bad for little Max. He really is a sweetheart. He's such a sweetie boy. He's very strong-willed. Wanted to have his life and his way and his whatever. But he also wanted to be loved, didn't you, Maxie? Yes, he'd like to be loved. Alright, I guess that's it. Max, if you want some real food, there's some at the house. Okay? We got kitty food at the house, honey. Yes, you're a sweet little boy. And I love you, honey. I just hope and pray he'll be okay until we can find some place that'll take us and him. I live long enough. By the grace of God. I'm really not in good shape, and Petra's really not in good shape either. Uh, they, you know, they threw the death, the, the, the death, uh, uh, the murder weapon, man. They threw the murder weapon in, and every one of these dark, dark things is a, a nest or something, you know. And that's why I'm one of the reasons why. It's killing me. There's others. There's people with more gallons. Well, no. But this is a creature. Probably a GMO creature or something that multiplies like mad. It's impossible to kill with standard anything. Wash, washing doesn't even seem to do much to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Say a prayer for sweet little Max that he will heal. I wish I could get some antibiotics on that ear. He spent the last couple nights in the house with us, and then he went out again, so he's a good boy. Yes, you are, honey. Try to be careful, okay? Try to be careful, sweetie. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't think the, the house apartment thing is going to happen. I think the guy decided to rent it to someone else, possibly. I don't know. I haven't heard from him, so... Place where we live, you know, these patrons are upset and screaming and in pain and delirious, and I'm 
uh, sleep deprived and angry and upset, drunk, and, you know, from the medicine and brain damage and the, and the room is so small and the daughter is complaining about everything. Oh, those stupid people left their cart in the hallway full of clothes. Yeah, we're doing laundry. You know, I mean, everything that we do, this girl runs around like turning off the lights. What was it? Turning off, the, locking the door, slamming. She, she's really not a fun person to be around. And, um, you know, for that alone, we should get not have to pay uh, so much rent. But uh, this poor guy, you know, we've, he's realized that what we're telling him is true, and, and like everybody, it scares him. If all this stuff is true, he's struggling just like we are. We better get out of his life, but we got nowhere to go yet. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep trying. I just did a huge load of laundry, like, you know, uh, almost, almost all the stuff that we have is not everything, but whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you.